Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are returning to Fort Glopspike in the realm of Shimon. And uh, we're getting closer to the Zarlak pit, which is uh, something you need to watch out for, of course. Hmm. Anyway, Storm Vault. The Glim Vault. We go to the Glim Vault. There's some Nurglings. There's um, uh, King Snotman. I've forgotten the name. Blight King? That's something like that. The Blight King. Cool. And also the rot flies. Uh, so we got we got, you know, some variety. But generally we have been just blitzing through these guys, so you know, we'll see. Uh also what I might do. Uh not with you. Sorry, but you know, just, just clicked on you by accident. Sorry to say it. Uh but we've got skills here. We have a new skill. So we've got the extra guard, of course, which is lovely. Um, but also hold the line, which I know is gonna be expensive, because it's plus one power, so it's gonna be a little delay before we can get the Liberators out, which is a pity. But of course, there is sort of an upside to delaying bringing units in, which is that you end up with more Aether to play around with because the power gets turned into Aether, right? So um, if we have a turn where we can't summon anyone in, it just means we'll have more power, uh, more Aether to spend rather, which is good. So there's pros and cons, but I just think this is too good to, to pass up. Um, certainly in the realms of Nurgle, where the enemy is really slow, so we have all the time in the world to summon in units. And, um, yeah, we can just heal up as we take damage, as our armor is removed, we can still just heal as we sit there, which is really cool. So I think that'd be really nice. It makes Liberators very hard to kill. Uh, but, as you can see, we've got some very expensive units now. Very expensive to bring in. So, yeah. Would be nice to get some Castigators, honestly. I think some Castigators would be good. But I think with the uh, the Encanto, the Vanguard guys, just have so much utility. We need something fast, and then of course the Liberators just to sit there in the front line. You know, have a shield wall with our um, uh, Lord Celestant. You know, it's just, this feels a very good thing. It's really just, do we need this guy? Do we need the quick guy? It's nice to have. But, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that's a lot of them. That's a lot of them, actually. That is a lot of them. We're going to end up just slogging through filth uh, a lot this session, I think. Alright, we're going to start right in the corner, do we? I feel like the angle on this map is a little bit awkward. But, okay, so yeah, there's, that's the terrain being blocked. Fine. So there is some lore here that we want to get. We've got to go a mile away for that one. But that's okay. This will work out fine, I'm sure. So yeah, having the teleport is definitely going to be useful here. Because these guys are all going to push forward. In a big way. So, yeah, we'll just need to block this, basically. Um, trying to think. So they'll have to move one turn. And then wait to climb up. In fact, can these guys ever climb up? Because this is minus one movement when moving up to this elevation. They only have one movement, so I'm not sure they can even climb up here if they wanted to. That's an interesting thought. Are these guys completely unable to climb uphill? Or does it go to a, a minimum of, of one? You know? Because I really have no idea. It seems that they think they could go up there, so... I mean, who really knows? Probably the people who designed this game. Among others. But other than that... <laughs> who knows? Alright, well that'll do. So yeah, these guys are just playing a uh, filth party. They're just having a filth party. Yum. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Nice, good deflection. And yeah, he's just still loitering, which is great. So let's use the high ground. And... Okay, they've actually got the high ground bonus, so I'd actually have to climb up there and put myself, make myself vulnerable, which is a pity. I didn't realize that. Otherwise, I would have climbed up there and shot that guy to death. Hmm. Yeah, I'll start shooting him anyway. Alright, good stuff. So yeah, more, more filth party. Ew. Oh, they hit me. Okay, they can climb up, so it's a, it's a minimum. It's clearly a minimum of minus one. So fair enough. Um, okay, I'm gonna challenge. I'm gonna challenge. 
Crush the blades. And boop. And then I'm gonna put a liberator here. Good. So we've got the guard, and they will heal one turn. There's only a seed of corruption there so far. So that's something. And I guess I'll try and start climbing up here. I suppose. Okay, high ground advantage, so we are bleeding though, sadly. So we're taking some damage, but not so much. Like, we're gonna heal, so who cares. They're flying away, that's fine. So they don't have to care about the movement penalties or anything, because they're flying. So it makes it very scary. So I can go ahead and kill them. I mean, I can kill all of these guys pretty quickly. Shh, the enemy is near. The oh, I know. Well aware. Uh, so I'm gonna bring this guy in, so I can I can teleport over there to, you know, next turn. Um, but I guess I'll start murdering. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, gotta do a bit of murder. Come on. Come on now. Yeah, bleed damage. More bleed damage. Wow. They can... They, they'll die. They'll die at the end of this turn. They're actually sat in corruption now. Uh, for some reason, I thought that he wasn't going to suffer that much damage, but no. No, apparently not. Yeah, the corrosion got him. And, uh, yeah, those Nurglings could definitely finish them off. And they're not in the shield wall anymore. Uh, okay, this is bad. Yep. And that just created more Nurglings. Because they just killed someone. Wow, okay, Nurgle's scary. But yeah, I just didn't see that combo coming to pass, you know? Of if we killed the thing, it would then turn the, the seed of Nurgle into a corruption of Nurgle. Because they died there. Like, I don't know why that just didn't dawn on me that that was going to happen. Which, of course, is very stupid. I will avenge past but, I mean... Okay, now this is frustrating, because I can't really see my stat line when I'm hovering over this. This is definitely a oversight. Drive them back. But they're dead now, so that's fine. And, yeah, I think we're going to have to try and kill them, too. I don't like Charles having to jump down there, but I think it's... It's our life now. Alright, we're going to bring you in. So we can start dispelling stuff if we need to. I mean, we're getting, we're getting a miracle, like, every battle, so... We're, we can afford to lose the odd unit, so... Don't feel bad about the Liberators. Okay, it's their job at the end of the day. Okay, I can't ride the winds etheric up to there yet, but I can start jogging there. Whoops. If I press the right button, anyway. And I could dispel this. Do I want to attack and then dispel? I think so. I think I think I do. So let's get the high ground. Got that corrosion, which sucks. Yes, yes. Spell there. Excellent. Good news. And you climb up there. And we should be able to shoot someone as our opening next turn, which is good. But yeah, that that rent just lowering her armor bit by bit. It's, um, it's not great. Oh, that'll almost kill them, but not completely. That's a pain. What I can do is throw a bear trap on this corruption, though. That might be nice. Um... Yeah. Yeah, let's put a bear trap down. What would you have me do? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I'm not sure what I'd have you do. I would like you to keep spelling, but you can't. The path is the um, path. fortify might be good. Challenge would help me do some damage. Because they're all probably just going to bite her in a minute. Um, you guys can move too, right? You can. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move back here. Because they'll probably be more inclined to just do stupid nonsense. I am the storm. Uh, and you could also move back one. I go. The storm follows. Okay. Cool. Uh, what? Where did he come from? Did the corruption turn into that or something? Not entirely Night sure. How much damage is that? Do? That's five damage, so I could kill that bloat fly. Rot fly. Uh, Alright, you head over there. 
release us to the hut. And now I can finish one of these off. So I'm going to. I can finish two of them off, in fact. Hmm. Seems worthwhile. I can't see why that wouldn't be a good idea. And what damage can you do? Hack and mulch, three damage, and on a kill it plants corruption. It does permanently rend one armor, though. So if I did move forward... Oh, I'd, I could kill that one, actually. But then you can move two. So they could charge up to there and attack, and then you could... Oh. Damn it. Advancing. I hate misclicks. We may lose her now. We may lose her. I've basically just given them a kill, which is um, frustrating as hell. Okay, uh, I could ride the winds etheric to get in here, but... <laughs> Oh, good, good. He's just sodding off. That's perfect. This sucks, though. How? God, all of this nonsense down here. Uh, so what you can do is kill him. You part that. And then ride the winds etheric to um, go hang out with... Uh, this, uh, snotty boy. Oh, look at him go! Good stuff. I bring hope to the hopeless. And I guess I'll attack them now. The name of justice, attack! And I guess you can head over here. So I've got a few it turns before I can shoot so. again, though. But... Alright, so that'll do. But god, just look at all this snot. Like, so much of the map is just ruined, and I can't dispel nearly as quick as I like. Um, but, I can do some good damage here, so. Alright, come on. Let's move in. I go the storm. And, yeah, good. We can heal him up. And, uh, you stand ready come in on, a load of slime that's melting you, so. Release us you know, how ready are you really? Okay, good. My body is wounded, but my will oh no. Remains. Her body's wounded. No, come back. You know what? Doesn't matter. I'll just we kill have them now. There we go. Hooray! I'm very sad that we we lost a unit though. I just didn't see that happening. Uh, armored sword, pretty good, pretty good. I think it gives you more armor. Is nice. Uh, anybody that kills allies take bonus damage. That's quite cool. Usable by prosecutors. Plus one power for that though. So it's plus one power to get plus one damage. But only if you have lost... Only against one guy. Only against whoever happens to have killed a unit of yours. That's so... Like... Rubbish a circumstance. I just don't think that's worthwhile. I think that's planning for failure, which is just not a good idea. I prefer to bring things along. Like, if I'm having plus one power on something, I expect it to be good. But... I expect that to be useful all the time, rather than only useful if I've taken a casualty and only against that specific target. Like, that just doesn't seem... Yeah, that that doesn't seem useful. Really doesn't. That's so niche. Like, I can't... I just honestly can't imagine that ever, ever happening. I can't imagine that ever being beneficial to us. But, oh well. Armored sword, though. That's nice. And a miracle. And mad visions. The Ferrier Mountains. Pretty cool. Vast, dense peaks rich in minerals and broiling with lava and great quakes. Sounds terrible. Astral compass of detection. What? Okay. Astral compasses are arcane devices that help to manipulate the very fabric of reality, allowing those who bear them to strike and ambush the enemy from routes and angles that should be impossible. What's that mean? It's an accessory. I can put it on my vanguard hunters. Which is fun. So I'll bring it along, even though I don't really understand it. Okay, good. Max level for my liberators. So they get an extra skill, though I don't have any more skills to equip them. But, you know, one day. Uh, okay. Interesting. Uh, I just realized 
that leveling up doesn't seem to be all there is. Um, the levels seem to have their own iconography, you see. There's different levels, which makes me wonder if those particular frames on their little level icon hints at how they've been upgraded. You know, what skills they carry, which is interesting. Huh. Also, that looks like an executioner of some sort, which is no good. And, um... That looks like a wizard, maybe. It's got a pointy hat, I don't know. Lots of things have pointy hats. So I don't really know what a lot of these units are, but yeah, new units, either way we go. Uh, the haunted ironworks are going to be more difficult, apparently. So, um, I think we might do that one. I think we might do that one. The rest have been a bit of a doddle. Although, saying that, we did just lose someone. And uh, that whole map was covered in slime, so it was a little bit dangerous. But, oh well. Probably do that next. We'll probably do that one next. But anyway, um, let's get our liberators back. I am going to use a miracle. We still have three, so we're doing good. Uh, and that was even with the extra health bonus thing that they had. They managed to get killed. So embarrassing. Uh, also, what what is it you guys are talking about? What is it? The armored sword. You had to show me that. We already have one, guys. We already have one. Really? Had something else? Was it another shield? What else did you get? Huh? What is it? What is it? Also, we do have that flipping dragon thing. Cobalt, the Azur Drake. We haven't used that yet. I don't know what it's trying to tell me is new. With that border, I really have no idea. Oh, you can have an armoured sword, really? Huh. That would actually be very useful to give them some extra armour. But, um, I do really love Thundercleave. It's such a useful thing to have. But, oh well. Oh, also, hang on. Wait. Where's, so, where's, the, there it is. Okay, so instead of a multi-strike pistol, I can have an astral compass of detection. Okay, that's got to be really good. Reveals enemy traps in the area. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that's not half as good as the multi-strike pistol. The multi-strike pistol is half the reason I bring these guys. Jesus. Okay, never mind. I was thinking of going this slot, down the bottom. And I'd forgotten that that was where the, the traps were, so I still wouldn't have brought that. It, it's disappointing. That was disappointing. Oh well. War spoils. Let's look at the lore. So, Mad Visions, the Ferrium Mountains. It might seem to you that the great Ferrium Mountains are like many of the sky-scratching ranges that cover Shimon. Vast, dense peaks, rich in minerals and broiling with lava and great quakes. Its inhabitants are far from common, though. For by their unending industry, the armies of the true gods themselves march to war. Ferium is ruled by the Iron Golems, a powerful band of warriors and smiths that walk the Eightfold Path. They prize metalwork and weapon forging as highly as they do righteous blood and slaughter. I have seen their demon-infused smithies with my own eyes. And it is true that they never cease, forever producing the arms and armor required by the servants of the true gods. And our glorious liege lord, the foremost champion of the primordial truth known as the Three-Eyed King. The Onk's Fist is the dead hold at the heart of their dominion, built across an active volcano. The Skalds claim that a great and ancient drake, Axranthos the Sun Dragon, is bound and chained at the heart of the mountain, and its terrible blasts of fire and magma are used by the Iron Golems in their endless forgings. Interesting. It's pretty cool. So, um, imprisoned dragons and... And, um, yeah, all these iron golems. I wonder if they are anywhere. Uh, if there's, like, models for them, or if they're just, like, a fun little lore thing or what. Be very interested to hear about hear about those guys. Maybe maybe they're mentioned in the um, Age of Sigmar RPG books or something. But, yeah, some cool stuff. Some cool stuff, for sure. Uh, okay, so we're going to end it there, guys. And uh, if you enjoyed this, then please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.